Hey, it's Erin. In this week's video, I wanted to talk about something just a little bit different. My top seven anti-aging tips. Now, aging is a privilege. There's nothing wrong with it. In fact, we're lucky to be able to age. Um, my thing is, is I want to maintain a youthful appearance for as long as possible. And this youthful appearance also equates to better health. So these are some low cost, no cost things that you can do starting today in order to age more gracefully if that's something that you want to do. So the takeaway too for this video, think about fast switch muscles and collagen production. If you don't take away anything else from this video, these are two really important factors for slowing down the aging process and improving quality of life because as we age, we lose fast twitch muscles at a rate that's much, much more quickly than we lose our slow twitch muscles. So tip number one, really, really important for you to lift heavy and or do speed training. So fast twitch muscles are trained in that lower rep range using heavy weights. Now I have to say, do it safely. So pick some exercises that you can lift heavy on go safely, do with confidence to minimize potential injury risk. For me, I absolutely love my barbell hip thrusts. I love dumbbell deadlifts, leg press, pull downs, rows, a lot of machine related equipment, uh, a lot of machine related exercises that you can do that are safe and really, really beneficial to maintaining those fast switch muscles. Fast switch muscles are also larger, so they're going to help uh, give you that bubbly appearance, that full muscular looking appearance as you get older. Um, the other thing, train fast. So your high intensity, low impact training, this can be done on the elliptical, the stairs, the spin bike, the sled. Think about less eccentric wear and tear on the legs. So not necessarily going out and sprinting per se, although that's something that you can do uh, if you build up an, an endurance towards that, if you have proper sprint mechanics. But um, my personal favorite is just getting on the sled and doing some sprints on the sled or even pushing a heavy sled. Really, really great for fast twitch muscle maintenance and muscle building. Tip number two, this goes to collagen. Think about taking a collagen supplement. I love taking my, I like Zeal. You can get that on Amazon. Um, I can leave a link in the description below. And I take it with vitamin C, helps with better absorption. And collagen, the research is out now. It's showing that taking supplemental collagen is beneficial for hair, skin, and nails and connective tissue. And not only do I like to take types one and three, um, I like to take all 10. And this is because if you're taking collagen, you might as well take all 10 types to support your connective tissue and get all of the benefits from it. Number three, this talks about collagen too. Consider a topical retinol or retinoid. Um, and a lot of times we're very, very familiar with applying that retinoid to our face. Um, I've been doing, uh, taking or using retinol for probably the last 15 to 18 years, so a long time. But recently, in the last three years, I've been using a topical retinoid on my body also. And what this is going to do is it's going to increase that skin turnover. As we get older, our cell turnover, it just slows down. Everything kind of slows down. So if we can do things to speed up cell turnover, to increase collagen production, that skin is going to look um, more taut, it's going to look more clear, and the appearance is, is going to maintain skin thickness because as we age, our skin thickness tends to decrease. So whatever we can do to increase collagen production is going to help just improve the overall quality of skin. So really consider not only putting it on your face, but putting it on the rest of your body too. Number four, Think about limiting your sun exposure during the hottest parts of the day. So that's between your 10 and 2 p.m. or 10 and 4 p.m., depending on where you live. Now, a little bit of sun exposure is great because that helps with vitamin D production, which can help with um, aging more gracefully too, with hormone production. So you don't wanna just stay out of the sun completely. You wanna get a little bit of sun, but 
balance it out. Make sure that if you're out in the sun during the hottest parts of the day, um, and every day really I apply a zinc sunscreen or a mineral-based sunscreen. You wanna really focus on that versus your chemical-based sunscreens. Those chemical-based sunscreens, they can get into your, your bloodstream and they do actually form a chemical reaction when you get out in the sun. So your mineral sunscreens are gonna be a really great bet. Um, and just think about kind of covering up during the hottest parts of the day. So the sun is going to damage collagen over time. And, you know, it's about one of those uh, balance type situations where you really want to think about getting enough sun to maintain health and uh, not get so much that you're breaking that collagen down. Number five, your fat intake balance. So really focus on your omega-3 fats. These are going to be anti-inflammatory. Now, if you live in North America, a lot of our foods are made with highly processed nut and seed oils, uh, plant oils, and these are gonna be really high in omega-6. And omega-6 is an inflammatory um, fat. Now, a little bit of omega-6, totally fine, but our um, standard American diet is very, very high in omega-6. So watch for what you put in your mouth and also watch for the lotions and skincare because a lot of the uh, skincare items that you might be putting on your skin will be high in the omega-6. So your canola, safflower, that type of thing um, that can cause inflammation on the skin too. So really watch the omega-3 to omega-6 balance and consider eating wild caught fish, your uh, chia seeds, those are gonna be high in omega-3s, maybe taking a krill oil supplement, um, just get more omega-3s if possible. Creatine. Now creatine, they've been doing so much research on it. I think it's the most studied product when it comes to muscle building and muscle maintenance. Now the health benefits of creatine are also starting to come out too. It's going to help improve glucose tolerance, it's going to help decrease cognitive decline, and it's going to help increase mitochondrial function. And the standard dose for creatine is two and a half grams per 100 pounds. You don't have to load creatine and you don't have to do the five grams per day if your weight you know, is not 200 pounds. If you're less than 200 pounds, then you can simply do two and a half grams per 100 pounds. I take creatine daily and have found that it has really helped with muscle maintenance and I just feel better when I take it. It's not something that you have to cycle on and off of. Uh, it is just basically the gold standard for muscle building and it's a truly safe and inexpensive product. Creatine monohydrate, still the way to go. They have so many forms of creatine but you know, the cheapest one is still creatine monohydrate, still the most studied and the most effective. Lastly, this is not low cost or no cost, but something I've been doing for the last few years is red light therapy. I have a Mito red light, really love it. I can leave a link in the description below if you wanna check it out. But red light therapy has been shown to increase inflammation, has been shown to decrease inflammation and increase collagen production. And since I've been using it, I've noticed actually a little less fine lines and wrinkles around my eyes and, um, you know, just feel better overall. I tend to sleep better whenever I do my red light therapy and I'll do it three to five days per week, not every single day. And I'll take a break for a week or two here and there. Um, you know, I don't think that you should necessarily be doing something all, all the time when it comes to treatments, but um, red light therapy for me has been a game changer. Leave a comment below if there's something else that you are using or doing for anti-aging or aging more slowly. Again, this is not about trying to stay looking 25 forever, but to me, it's been really important to you know, try to maintain muscle fullness, maintain skin quality, and just maintain that that youthful glow, if you will, um, for as long as I can. And, you know, really think that that lifting weights and really protecting collagen and, and increasing collagen um, is the way to go when it comes to anti-aging. Also, it goes without saying, drink enough water, get enough sleep, and try to limit or eliminate, if possible, chronic stress. 
and those are gonna go a long way. Also, limit sugar if you can. Um, this is gonna also go a long way towards maintaining a youthful appearance. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna leave a list of the tips in the description below if uh, you, know, you wanna screenshot it or whatever, but let me know what you think. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Love you. Until next time, train hard, y'all.